Let me show you how we can blend two images together using Pixelmator Pro on your Mac. While you're creating a brand new document, you may notice there are some templates, so maybe that's just what you need if you plan to like place two images next to each other, not like fade one image into another one. You should be able to just select a template here from the list. So let's check out some basic templates here where they already prepare like space for placing four images together, two images together, or making some kind of grid like gallery. So if that's something you look for, you can maybe start with that template. Maybe that's good enough for you. All right, but in our case, we're going to create a blank document. So I will just use the default blank document like that. And now I'm going to drag in my first image. Here it is. It's maybe too large or too small. In my case, it's way bigger than my artboard. So I'm going to zoom out using the top slider. This way I can see the real size of the image and I can easily scale it down by pushing the corner in. All right, so I got one image in and now I will drag and drop the second one. Here's the second one is larger than my artboard as well. So that's usually a good thing. It's way easier to scale down than to scale up. So right now I just need to zoom in and we will have to make this transition here. So we can make it in two ways. We can make some kind of border to simply show that two images next to each other, or we can make it smooth fade away transition. And usually most of you guys want this second option. So let me show that. I need to be sure that part of this second image is under this one. This layer is also under this one. So what we need to do, we need to fade in the part of this image using mask. So I'm going to apply a mask to this layer add mask and now I can use the gradient tool from the tool panel on the right this time black and white gradient and the whole trick is to put it on the mask not on the picture because the black color will make the part of the image to disappear and the white color will preserve the image so what we need is a proper gradient on the mask so another way around like here and now we got this fade away edge of the image take a look it's like that thanks to our black and white mask now those two images are kind of merged into one all right i hope this was helpful let me only show you one more alternative way so i'll get rid of the mask so i will just remove the mask completely let's scale down this image and Let's use this one as the main image that covered the whole thing. And the second image, we're going to apply a shape mask this time. So I'm going to click on the mask menu here and I can select some popular shapes here, but I can click custom shape as well. And I got the full list here. So let's say I want this into hard shape. Here it is. And you can add the second image just like that using a mask done and you can move it around this way all right so whatever you want to blend them together using masks like gradient masks so they kind of fade into each other or make this artistic like mask with this another shape so show one image on the top of each other that's totally possible in pixelmator pro i hope this short tutorial was helpful see you in the next one